Hello, and welcome to another Reaper tutorial. This is the short version of my sharing projects and files video that will just show you how to do the thing. If you want to know why some of this stuff works and some more techniques, then go check out the other video in the description. So if you want to send somebody your project and you want it to show up just like this, you'll have to do a little bit of tweaking to your settings to make that happen. First, you're going to go into File, Project Settings, and you want to go to the Media tab here. And in this Path to Save Media Files, just type Audio Files. You can name this anything, though, if you want to, but Audio Files is very appropriate. Then on Import of Media to Project, uh, use Global Preference is usually OK, but if you want to be specific, you can tell it to Copy Media to Project Path and then hit save as default project settings so you never have to do this again. So now that your project has a path to save audio files, you're going to save your project as, uh, go to a folder that will contain this project, and you're going to select create subdirectory for project and copy all media into project directory. Now you can name this whatever you want, uh, one punch man Collab 2. Now that you've saved this, you're going to find your project folder. And rather than sharing the project file here, you're going to go up one level and share this whole folder because that will let people actually open your project and see it the way that you're seeing it on your computer instead of just seeing a bunch of offline files like this. The other way to share files with a collaborator is by sharing the stems or the individual audio files. The way this usually works is someone will send over a click track or some reference audio for you to play along with, and they want you to send over the individual audio tracks so that they can mix them on their own DAW. So what you'll want to do is hold down shift, double click on the longest thing that the person sent you as a reference track. So the click track is the longest thing in this case. So my time selection is now the length of that item exactly. Once you've done that, you're going to select all the tracks you want to send. It happens to be these six for me. Go to file and render, select stems, selected tracks for the source, and time selection for the bounds. And what I like to do to keep things organized is type in uh, renders backslash. I'm using parent folders, so I'll put dollar sign parent, which will use a wildcard, underscore dollar sign track, which use another wildcard. So you can see what's happening here is the parent name, the folder that all of these tracks are in, is called bassoon wet. So all the tracks are going to be called bassoon wet underscore the track name. Add another underscore with the project name. We'll call this Jenny Song. Then you can change your options down here to make sure that the collaborator is getting a file in the right format. Usually I just default to 48,000 24 bit WAV files, and that seems to be good for most people. So now double check to make sure you've got all the right tracks selected, and you can click Render Files, and you'll see that this number reflects how many you have selected. Once the files render, you can find your project folder, go into the renders folder within that, and you'll see all of the tracks that you just exported as stems. And you can send these to your collaborator and they will all be the same length and line up with the length of the click track or whatever the, uh, the reference track that your collaborator sent over was. So note that if you have a tail on when you render, so in this render menu, if you select tail, the end of the tracks will extend uh, outside of the time selection, which is good if you have reverb or any effects that take some time to wrap up at the end of a song. So that's it for sharing projects and files with collaborators. I hope this video gives you some confidence in sending files and projects back and forth, and I hope it helps you reap the benefits of Reaper.